Hi, in this tutorial we're gonna work with the same messaging app we used before. Uh, we have updated the JavaScript code a little bit and I'm going to work and explain what the code does and you'll see how it enables us to work with the offline capabilities of Firebase. So first of all, let's go line by line and see what's different. The first difference is the state object. It now has two additional properties. First one is is connected and it's set to false by default. The second one is offline messages and it's set to an empty array by default. Then we have an extra function uh, push to Firebase which accepts one argument message and what it does it actually just push, pushes this message to the Firebase. We have extracted this function as we are using this functionality several times so it's like better uh, to have it in one place. Okay. After that we have one more additional function and this one it's, it's actually a variable not a function. Uh, it is connection ref. It's a reference to the current Firebase connection. Uh, we are defining it like that firebase.database uh, method dot reference uh, method and we are passing this string dot info slash connected as a parameter to the reference method basically this is a special this is a special uh, like endpoint which uh, gives us the reference of the current connection we have quite uh, quite a big event listener on this connection reference and uh, it's, it's defined like so connection reference on value has this snap uh, has this callback with the snap uh, parameter and what this snap does is actually tells us if reactively updates if the current connection is active or not active basically if we are connected to the firebase or no so we do that, we like on every, every time the connection state changes, we are updating the state is connected to the snap.val method. And this basically what it does is make sure that we always have this is connected set to the current uh, state of the connection. So basically is connected means we are online, is connected false means we are offline. Okay. Then after that, if the connection has changed, if you want to check if we have some stored offline messages which we want to push to the Firebase uh, database, right? So first of all, we check if currently we are connected using snap.val method. And then if we are, we check if we have any offline messages. We do that by calling state.offlinemessages.length. Then, if that's true, uh, we are using this firebase.off method.current user to check if we are currently logged in to, to the Firebase, like authenticated. So, if we are, that means if the user is not null. What we do is while we have messages, we push the first message to the Firebase and we remove this first message from the state offline messages array, right? So basically we are calling state.offlinemessages shift method on, on it and passing this element to the push to Firebase, this function we defined right here. If we are not uh, authenticated, we are using the state to authenticate since you know no form was submitted. So we are kind of expecting that we already have stored the email and password inside the state. So that's probably like 99 times of the hundred how it's how it's gonna be unless like it's uh, the browser gets refreshed or or stuff like that. But we we can add like these small small tweaks later okay 
So if we are if we are not authenticated, we are authenticating the the, the state uh, email and state password. And after the authentication is su successful, what we do is we again use the same while uh, we have some offline messages. We push these messages to the Firebase. Okay, so exactly the same code right here and right here. Okay, if the authentication is uh, not successful, like before, we are just logging out the error message. Also, our event listener on the form submit has changed a little bit too. So, up until this point, it's exactly the same, but then we are checking if we are connected versus if we are not connected. Okay, so let's first check if we are not connected parts. Okay, so if state is connected is not true. So this else statement, right? So what we do if we are not connected, we kind of push this message to the offline messages in the state. And we also reset the form, okay? So that's, that's that simple, okay? Just pushing the, mes the message to the offline messages array and resetting the form. If we are connected, then it's kind of, cur Kind of the same thing as we used to have in the previous example, just a little bit improved, not to authenticate every single time, but just to check if we have already like this user, uh, the, the, this user set up right and authenticated, and if we are, we are just pushing this mess this me message to the Firebase right using this code. To remove first of all hide this. Uh, JavaScript login data for div and push the message to the Firebase and reset the form, right? If we are not authenticated, we are, we are using exactly the same code as before. So just this, this line is different because we, are, we have like extracted this functionality to a separate function, right? So that's how you make your app uh, offline friendly. Let me show you how it works in a real world and uh, explain which code does what. So first of all, let's use the same credentials as before. And I'll just use one as my message, okay? Then, then I'm going to click submit. What's going to happen is we have this event listener on submit. We will prevent the default. We'll get this uh, uh, like email password from the inputs and we'll get the, the message from the input too. Then since it's connected right now, we are connected to the internet and to the Firebase, uh, then we are connected. That means we are connected. Then we are gonna check if we, if we are already authenticated. We are not. So we're gonna go to this branch and use email and password to authenticate. Uh, we're gonna set the state email and state password to this email and password respective fields. And we're gonna push the message to the Firebase, okay? And of course, reset the form and hide the login data div, okay? So it happens like instantly. Uh, we can check the Firebase and we'll see that we have this message one. By the way, I have deleted all the previous messages from the Firebase, so we would know that uh, how, how exactly this works. Okay, so let's check if that still works with adding the second uh, message, right? We are already on authenticated, right? So this time this code is gonna uh, happen, right? So we are going to push to the Firebase and reset the form, okay? Yes, and we have a message too. What we're going to do right now is we're going to use our uh, browser's uh, like helper, which helps us uh, to like make the net network connection off to offline. So basically, you can enter that by clicking this three dots. Oh, sorry, it's three dots, more tools, network, network conditions, right? 
So if you click that, you'll see this tab like next to a console. Uh, oh, we lost it. So you see this tab like next to the console. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the offline mode, right? This is basically renders our uh, this window offline, okay? So I'm going to add free, okay? So what happened right now is we, our, our code, uh, after we changed this network throttling to offline, what happened is the event listener, this event listener on value, uh, made our status connected to offline and when we submitted the form we know that it's the state is connected is false right now so we pushed this message to the state offline messages array okay let's push another one four and another one five to make sure that we are uh, like submitted to the firebase in order okay so let's check the Firebase and you can see that nothing appears right now, right? Since it's a, our app is basically on the offline mode right now, right? Then we're gonna change it back to no throttling and immediately after we do that, you'll see that our Firebase received three new messages, three, four, and five. So basically that's how you do offline functionality, like bas basically not fully offline functionality, but uh, like the case when the user has loaded the app and then, it's, uh, then it became offline afterwards, right? So as long as uh, the page is not refreshed, your app will function uh, like in offline mode up until the, that point, then you get uh, the connection restored. So that's how you add uh, like offline support to Firebase type apps.